Okay, so obviously gaming is a huge deal uh, for Linux. Um, with the advent of the Steam Deck and Steam OS, it's basically opened the, the doorway for people to move off of, of Windows and move to Linux. I think it's the biggest sort of um, motivator for people to move away because obviously Windows world with games and spreadsheets and stuff, you can do 90% of Windows non-game stuff on Linux, pretty much, apart from a few programs. Adobe, we're not going to talk about. But but the gaming bit is the big, you know, it's huge part of our computing world is, is gaming. And when Steam sort of rolled out, Steam OS, I think it was Debian, a Debian version, the first one. And it was really interesting. I remember years ago, about probably, oh God, 10, no, seven years ago, might be 10 years. I had Ubuntu and I tried to install Steam on there. And there was very few things that ran. And it was like, you know, okay, great. But then it's really come forward. It's like, you know, Proton is an amazing technology as a as sort of an interface layer for, for the games. But we've got to the point now where there's you know, very little difference in Steam Deck. And, you know, obviously Valve are really smart and they thought, OK, we'll build on top of Arch Linux and, and we'll build this platform. And, you know, that will be the way forward. They're not constrained by Microsoft's problems. You know, the, all the telemetry rubbish that Microsoft gets off you. So, yeah, so, you know, Linux is now a really big force, finally, in the world of, of gaming. And, you know, as every time you install, I install a distribution or something. I always test Steam and see what works and stuff like that. So, obviously, there's an Amarchi video. And when I first ran Amarchi with gaming, it was a bit, you know, there was a few problems I'd never seen before. I'd done loads of work with Bazite. And Bazite's literally, you know, Steam with hardware support fundamentally um it's really good but amarchi i i think it's great and it's really really you know it's probably basically a rice version of arch uh, but it, it's fantastic it's really good for me to use and all that sort of stuff but games uh, so i had to look at them beforehand and some of the you know i had some weird errors anyway i've sort of revisited that and i um someone asked me if starfield works will fire that up um but yeah, and I found out something. I feel really stupid now. I mean, I've Googled and I use ChatGPT for certain things. Uh, but I found really stupid because some of the things I could not get to work are really easy. And I'd spent ages trying to find scripts and installing helpers and stuff. Anyway, anyway, that's the preamble. Let's let's have a look. And, and I'll just go through the problem I had and, you know, and how you can do to fix it. Anyway, but let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in Steam. Now, the games that I found tricky to run, I'll show you what happened. I, I saw Black Mesa, so it's a uh, rebuild of Half-Life, right? You know, modernized, better textures, all that. And I, it's like always, it just runs. You know, whatever you put it on, it works because it's a Valve game. But when I put it on a March, this happened. And try it. SDL int SDL int video failed. Wayland X11 not available. So I thought, okay. And then I put that into ChatGPT and it gave me all these sorts of command lines to pop into this bit here. Properties. It's, you know, give you launch options. It gave me all this stuff to do. It just didn't work. Or well, it worked at a black screen. And then the other one I thought, well, okay. So we'll look at another Steam game. Let's do Portal. Now, Portal actually launches. But it does this failure thing. There's something that goes wrong with it. Hang on. But it comes up. And then you'll see it renders really, really slowly. I think there's it I think it might flash up an open GL error. And you can see it there, look. It's like moving so slowly. There's something obviously very wrong with it. And I couldn't work out that what that was. So, you know, you, you're looking into that. And it was just completely by fluke I did this. I didn't read this anywhere. But it's just there was a line that said, if you have problems with certain games, just force compatibility. And then I actually sort of went through with ChatGPT and said to it, what am I doing here? And he says, well, you'll, if we do the force compatibility, you're making it not look outside. Now, when you set up Steam, you go in here and you go to settings. 
It's got compatibility. I've got Proton G in there. I'll come to that in a minute. But you put it to Proton Experimental. Let's just do that. Let's restart. Put it on um, Proton Experimental, which is the one that you see with the time. Hang on, see if that launches. Is it going to launch? Do I have to do that again? Steam. And you think you're good to go. You think you think Proton is using Steam, you know, Proton. Steam is using Proton Experimental. That isn't the case. It's not. It's sort of, I don't know, it, it must be looking at something, but it's definitely not being forced to use that. So let's bring that back up. So if I go to library, uh, oh, and now if I go on Black Mesa, and if I click on that, go properties, and go compatibility, and then I force it to use Project Experimental, it does an update. And, okay, so it's, doesn't update there. I download this freeze. Freezes if I don't close it. It doesn't update. And then play and the play default. It just it works. So I can't. I couldn't figure out that. I couldn't figure out why. You know, I, I still don't know why that's happening. Why you have to force it to specific compatibility where you think by default. I mean, when I'm on, I've never had to do that on Bazite on any of the other platforms. Maybe it's because it's Arch or something. I don't know. But apparently ChatGPT says it's like forcing it to stay within, here it is, to stay within a particular environment, like the Proton environment. So this loaded up. campaign start game it's a bit loud that coming out of the weird speakers in the side of the screen here should be coming out of the headphones okay let's quit that don't save let me just adjust the volume so I don't get told off by the neighbours. Output devices, put that right down there. Q. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, it's pretty up. So then again, if you've got a portal and you right click properties and then you just do compatibility and then you force it to Proton Experimental. It does an update. Let's close that. And now you play it. I'm, I'm either losing the plot here, but I don't know if this is documented anywhere. But I mean, it says when you read it, what it does. It just says it forces this compatibility. But you'd have thought, wouldn't you, by default, that it would be using that compatibility layer from the get-go. Most things do. Here we are. We're in now. And you can see now it's the correct speed. Uh, new game. Test chamber two. Start new game. And it works. There you go. So I did see some people on discourse for a March actually saying that they're having this problem with um, this SDL thing. Well, that's how you do it. I mean, Portal 2. Don't know. I don't know if that will have I set that up. Let's just try that without it. See what happens. Portal two compatibility. No, I haven't got full compatibility. Let's see if that plays. That may go straight in. That has gone straight in. That's old. Maybe it's the older games that this happens on. Was it going to give me some error right in a minute? But yeah, so. What I haven't looked at yet, I mean, if you look at Catchy or some of the other operating systems, they've got their very own sort of packages that come with game scope and all these sorts of things. Is that working properly? Yeah, that is. Quit. Quit. They've got Catchy and things like that, got their own gaming packages with game scope. Um, the special games, not games launches. There's an optimizer for games, isn't there? Let's get rid of that. Uh, that allow you to put now I've been looking at like building a script to package all that stuff together mango hard and all this kind of thing so let's just launch Starfield because someone was um 
properties. Have I got that on compatibility? Let's just do that. Let's just run Starfield. Someone was asking if Starfield ran, so I'm going to play that, run that for them. It does. But yeah, it threw me. I, I you know, I'm on Bazite and some of the other installations most games have just played. But, you know, it's not... Um, when I got on a marchy and I was trying to do this, I've seen, you know, these other things. I just couldn't work out what was going on. And I, I tried to write scripts and all sorts of stuff and command lines to launch it. And it wouldn't work. And it's as simple as that. And I mean, if you're um, if you're battling with this. Here we go. I'm, I'm, what am I doing? Confirm E. Here we are. Starfield. Straight in. And it is interesting, all the later games, Borderlands, all these kind of things. Um, I had Chrono, was it Chronos? All of those games seem to work fine. So there's a bit of stuff, we'll tab to open data menu. How do I do? Put your helmet on in the air, airlock. How do you do that then? Talk. My things. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Quick game. And then B for desktop. Okay, so let me just go back to... So there you go. So if you're having problems with the games in a marchy, just try to force compatibility. I'm going to work through the games. I did this with Bazai as well. So I'm working through each game. I've got I've got a lot of games. Mold. I was there when Steam launched. So I've got a lot of the games on there. And I was thinking working through the older ones, I think are the more problematic ones. I know that Doom works on Amarchi fine. And I know that, you know, all the Dooms work, um, a Cyberpunk, all that stuff, all the usual suspects that people use for benchmarks. I know Black Black Myth Wukong works. Um, but it was weird because I just there may be some odd ones out there and anything used that SDL stuff you just need to force compatibility but yeah so I don't know if that helps anybody but it's sort of I've seen that crop up a lot in the discourse from Mark about the SDL thing that's that but yeah you can game on it definitely Starfield I, I've just done ARC I had the ARC test the other weekend tons of stuff so I, I mean there's nothing that's not wrong the one that really amazed me was Exodus Metro Exodus I've had always had problems around that, and I used that same technique there by forcing it to use Proton GE, and it launched and it plays perfectly. Where even on Bazai, I think I had problems with it, but I wasn't using that. I had never used that way of doing it before. Anyway, some of you out there will probably go, "Oh, that's really easy. I knew that all the time." But it's really funny. Even if you put it into ChatGPT, you give it the errors. It just doesn't say force compatibility. Make it use Proton. So I don't know. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you are going to be playing games on, on Amarchi, yeah, you can. Um, you just need to do a few tweaks. Uh, CSGO works as well, by the way, really well. So CS2, CSGO. So yeah, so just make sure you, you don't give up. If you get errors like that, do the force compatibility thing. See if it works. If you don't know how to get the Proton, go to the AUR, get the Proton GE thing, put install that make sure that steam is shut down when you do that uh, and then give it a go and you'll probably get it working so that's just you know it's made my weekend because i've been trying to get that, those two games portal and the other one working properly for about a week and i did google um you know i couldn't find anybody that said they were saying try proton g but if you load it into that you just load it you think you're using that but you're not you have to force it to use it anyway you learn something every day and with that, enjoy your games and thanks for watching.